36 volt, 48 volt golf carts. If you're looking for a way to start hooking up some 12 volt accessories like light bars, rock lights, Christmas lights, radios. Basically, we're gonna use an inverter here that reduces it uh, down to 12 volts. Basically, you bring 36 or 48 down to 12 with this. And this is pretty cool here. Oxbean makes this switch panel that controls eight accessories. It gives you all the relays. These are solid state relays in this. Um, for future installation, I'm gonna get into this here after we hook up this. This thing is gonna be super cool. This is gonna make your install super duper clean compared to anything you've probably done in the past, like on your Jeeps and trucks. We're using switches and relays and a bunch of wiring. All we gotta do is hook that up once and uh, we're good to go for future uh, lighting and stuff like that. All right, so on your battery pack here, you're gonna wanna find the two leads, the main leads, okay? So all your batteries are connected together here, but they run out to the controller through these two guys here. You got negative, one side, positive, okay? This is either gonna give you 36 or 48 volts. You can test it with a meter. Um, but this is where we're gonna do our connection at for the reducer. Uh, the reducer, the wiring is super easy. Basically, yellow, it's gonna to go to the positive side of the battery. Black is gonna to go to the negative side on the battery, okay? Green here, you're gonna to need to run this wire up to your key, okay? So that's actually a 48 or 36 volt in. Um, you can wire up to the key. Um, so when you turn it on, it turns the inverter on because we don't want the inverter on all the time. And then your red wire here, it's your output. And we're gonna run this to the switch panel. Now, if you don't have a golf cart and you caught this video, you're probably like, what in the hell are you talking about, man? Why you got Christmas lights all over your shit? Well, my neighborhood likes to do like Christmas parades, holiday parades and stuff like that. People like decorate it and all that stuff. And you know, it makes it fun. Uh, right now it's just hooked up with a, there's a jump box under there and a converter. So um, we want a little bit more of a permanent clean install. So I'm gonna take the inverter and I'm just gonna double side tape it or Velcro it, like right here. Just long enough to be able to get to my batteries. I'm gonna get some nice Velcro. Just bam, make this nice and simple. So that it's just good. Boom. The reason why I use Velcro, just in case you wanna take it off, this plastic or fiberglass isn't very thick, so screwing into it is not really gonna be an option. Positive, negative, really simple. And it's already fused right here at the positive side, so we don't have to worry about it. So let's get some ring terminals looking right up. So I'm just using some standard ring terminals I got on Amazon. So I really want to make this video for people that aren't very good at wiring because this is, I'm gonna to try to simplify it as much as I can to make it where it's not uh, very difficult for you to do. Um, you just basically need to buy <coughs> what I have in the video, some ring terminals, um, some way of crimping it, uh, like these crimpers here. You can find them anywhere. You wanna get a kind of a good pair that are kind of shaped like this. Not the kind that are full of like multi things and gives you gauge wiring. You don't want to use that. Those things kind of suck. Something like this makes things very, very simple. But yeah, it's going to hook it up. Just be really careful because we're dealing with, um, <laughs> we're dealing with seven batteries here. So uh, things can be a little. Now if I connect the circuits together. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I can feel my hair rising. Ow! <laughs> Something zapped me right in that. So we will have to go back in the negative to do the switch paneling. Uh, so we don't have to tighten that one up all the way. Go ahead and tighten this one up. So not too bad, pretty simple here. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and tackle the green wire that we have here, which is the switched on power. Basically, you're gonna take this wire, you're gonna need to extend it all the way to the switch panel, and I'm gonna go underneath the cart that way. I, you know, I am soldering on my connections. Um, you can use like butt connectors and, and plastic connectors and things like that, but uh, whenever I solder anything, uh, pretty much it's kind of like insurance where uh, this is not going to fall apart on me. I don't have to worry about falling apart, especially if I have some problems later on. I know that all my little connections here that I made, they're going to be pretty solid. Ah, lots of poisonous gases. I think it's ready to serve. Uh, you do have to take care of when you're using something like this, like this is a butane operated soldering iron. Be careful around these batteries because they do gas out. And um, 
it can actually explode around fire. So just be careful around these batteries. Tape this up and I'm gonna run a couple feet, just enough to go under the cart up to the switch panel. So your next step is to go ahead and um, find where you're gonna find your 48 or 36 volts in the switch when you turn the key forward. And uh, mine's right here, it's, it says 44.7. But if I turn the key off, it should read zero. And you can usually tell if it is your wire um, because this one, um, I'll have like a battery meter here. Um, you can see where it actually, it's spliced off and goes to the meter. Um, the battery meter only turns on when you turn the key to on. So that's it right there. I'm just gonna tap into that and we'll have our on and off wire. All right, so my reducer now should be 100% functional. We got the meter right there, hook it up, shows no volts. Turn the key, now I have 12 volts. Now I can power anything 12 volts with this wire. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna hook up this switch panel. Um, that's going to give me relays for all my future installs and uh, all my lighting, everything that I ever want to do. If I want to do radios, it's going to it's be able to hook up to this. I won't have to play with the batteries anymore or anything. So. All right, check this out. Aux beams, Aid Yang switched panel here, okay? Got some, some decals. This is for the controller. Uh, for the controller here, so we can go ahead and pick anything that we're doing and we can just stick it right on there. But yeah, this is the controller, okay? Um, it's pretty freaking um, nice. It's aluminum. That's, that piece is aluminum, this is aluminum. Um, and it's nice and small. This is, a, this is gonna replace so many of those stupid looking plastic switch panels and things like that. It does come with uh, two brackets that we can kind of pick and choose how we wanna install it. Okay, this is just one of them. This is the brain of the whole unit right here. Um, right here, this is gonna make your life so much nicer when it comes to hooking up accessories up to you. anything, like a car or your golf cart or anything like that. But there's solid state relays in here, okay? And there's, what, eight of them? And all we gotta do is hook up a positive and a negative, and it's switched on, and all the relays are powered now for all our 12 volt accessories. Okay, you get a positive and negative, a positive and negative for all eight, okay? So now all we have to do is hook this up to the reducer now, anything we want to install, we're just going to go here, 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 here. Super easy. We'll be able to control it with the controller here, okay? This is super nice. It comes with nice cabling. It's already crimped for you and everything. And it comes with a breaker instead of a fuse that we're going to do in line before we get to this guy, just as a safety precaution. A little bit of hardware, uh, cabling uh, to run the, the uh, controller. Uh, here's the other bracket for the controller. I'll go over these later. It does come with some zip ties, okay? They don't feel cheap. Okay, and this right here, this is the, we're gonna have to hook this up to an accessory, okay? Which is not gonna be an issue. Oh, and underneath it, if you look, there are some cheaper um, switch panels like this on Amazon, but what's, this one separates it a little bit more. It gives you these mounting brackets, these solid steel mounting brackets okay, that you can put together to mount this a couple different ways. Okay, this is, this is gonna make things real nice. Okay, so you can kind of mount it somewhere like that. Okay, you can do a bunch of different things. It's gonna allow you to do it like that. Okay, man, it's, this is super cool. Same thing with this. You just wanna flat mount it somewhere, you can flat mount it. All right, so we put a ring terminal on the power output side of the reducer. The ox beam breaker. These are really nice because they replace fuses, which could pop. And then we just go to a nice breaker style that you can reset. It doesn't cost you any money if you accidentally pop it. And like right now, I have the circuit open, so nothing bad will happen. All right, now that we have the breaker all hooked up as far as the power inlet to it, now we're going to go with the switch panel here. This is the turn-on wire. I'm going to run it along with the power wire, and I'm gonna snip it at the same length because these are gonna to go to the same spot, which is at the other end of this breaker here. Then we'll hook it up to the bottom side of the breaker here. Okay, then it 
comes with this cool cover so nothing bad happens. A little protection. There we go. All right. So switch panel. And now we need to take the negative. All we got to do is hook it up to the battery there. So here's the controller cable. All it does is run this up in here. Like so. Plug it in. Bam. Okay. I'm going to take this and run it up. So I'm going to take the end of this and run it up to the front for the controller. All right, let's go ahead and test the controller. Turn it on. Bam, got power. Now you can customize the, uh, the colors here through the app. We'll look at that here later in the video. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and mount this thing like right there. I'll double side tape or Velcro it right there. It's pretty good. It's not in the way of my cup holes or anything like that. I don't have to drill any holes. But yeah, it does come with this really nice mounting bracket. If you did want to drill holes or you need a better solution because you got things in the way, but you can do something like this, okay? And it swivels. You can, you can do all kinds of stuff. So that's pretty neat. But... All right, so to keep this nice and clean, you know, they, they Oxbeam gives you this really nice bracket that you could just... Bam, you know, if you could drill into this, but I'm not, so I'm probably just gonna Velcro it like right here or something, or on top of this box here, um, where I can get back to it. Um, you just gotta kinda keep it kinda clean like I have here. It looks halfway decent, um, if I have to come back in here. But but yeah, this is ultimately the solution for hooking up all your accessories, because whatever you wanna do now, all we have to do is pop the cap open and decide which one of these we're gonna use. There are different amperage fuses. Um, yeah, there's solid state relays in here. So you're never gonna have those big stupid relays. We're never gonna have a crap ton of wiring. We're never gonna have a crap, you know, crap done a bunch of switches, different kinds of switches. All right, so to run my Christmas lights, the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna use the cigarette lighter plug that you have here. Uh, I'm gonna cut these ends off here. Uh, wire it directly into the switch panel, negative is positive. Then I'll have power to this. And I'm just gonna use an inverter, okay? That has a cigarette lighter um, on the end of it. Now a lot of these inverters come with hard wire um, wiring, but I don't have, this one didn't come with it or I don't have it, I don't know where it's at. So I'll just end up running this to the back and plugging in my Christmas lights. And this will end up nice and clean where I can control it from the switch panel. So the stickers it comes with are pretty darn good as far as you know what you want to do, like light bars, interior lights, underglow. Um, I think what I'm going to do is since it's it's a uh, cigarette lighter. I'm just going to use the auxiliary one. All right, got this Nylite uh, rock light kit. This is the RGB one, the one you can change colors on. And now it's going to be super duper easy to install it. Let's see what we got here. Here's the controller for it. All it is is a two wire hookup and use an app to control the colors. So the, here are the connections. All it is is a power and a ground, which is going to easily plug into that aux beam uh, switch panel controller. Here we have some mounts, mounts, and here are the LED lights that will go in the wheel wells. So there's four of these, and they just connect with the weather taps like that. All right, so let's check out the Bluetooth app, okay? Uh, this is more than just a controller. It will let you change some of the features that you uh, you get with this unit here. Um, right from the beginning of the screen right here, you can go ahead and change the color real quick to any color you want. Change to your controller to whatever. Let's go through all of them, okay? Pretty simply, there's some presets down here also. Uh, let's go back to green. Now, if you hit icon on the app itself, you can go ahead and reassign uh, what these things are going to be on your display here. I just call that one like fuel, okay, which is actually, you know, fog lights. So I actually installed the fog lights real quick, press the button, and turn it on. But like, if I needed to uh, change one of these to like a horn or something, what you can do, there's mode right here, which is pretty neat. You can go ahead and reassign, it's like reassign the fog lights here. I'm gonna reassign it to be a momentary switch, okay? And go back, 
now you see how it lights up blue my fog lights are on now I'm going to turn them off it's a momentary switch now which it only works when I press and hold the button down which is neat if you had like an air horn or you just have something where you just want to turn on when you press the button you go like that now we can turn those into strobes too um, go back to mode and then we'll select that button there and go to pulse pretty much now this thing it's gonna just flash and you can control uh, control how fast it is. Make it just crazy. Make it go down. And so if you have some type of sign or some type of something or you need help, you can go ahead and change that. Just put that back on like toggle. Thank you.